Afternoon, everybody. This is Jeff from Rust Bucky Valley Garage. I uh, thought we'd try something a little bit different this afternoon. And we have a piece of auxiliary power equipment that we use occasionally when we have a power failure uh, around here, which isn't very often, but uh, it still really bugs us when uh, we need to get a little something done and um, we don't have any power. Uh, this right here is a Honda 2.2 kilowatt uh, generator. It's gasoline powered. It's been sitting here in our storage building for about seven years. And yeah, pretty dirty. Uh, so we don't really like working on dirty stuff. We take and we steam clean cars when they come in. Including the undercarriage allows us to see the damage a little bit better. But this one right here looks like an air hose job. So we're going to go ahead and hit this with the air hose and see what's underneath. So I hit it with the air hose, cleaned it up a little bit, it looks a little bit better. Uh, first thing we want to do is, since it hasn't run in so long, we don't really know what condition it's in. So what we want to do is we want to take and check the oil, see if there's any oil in it. Okay, and it turns out, yes, there is oil in here, not in too bad a shape. So we'll go ahead, put that back. Next thing we want to do is, how much work is this going to be? Well, that is going to depend if the engine is frozen up. So easiest way to take and do that is give it a tuck. Okay, feels like it's got good compression. And we got an easy pull on the starter cord. So a couple of really good signs. Next thing we want to do is we want to take and see if there's any fuel up in here. Uh, if there is fuel in here, then we're going to have to change that out. Go ahead and take the fuel cap off. Take the filter out. Okay, and the fuel tank is empty. Ah, so we're good. Uh, we will get some fresh fuel, put it in here, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we brought the fuel cart over. We gave it about half a tank of gas. Uh, next thing we got to do is pull out the spark plug, which is right down here. We got to see what kind of shape that's in, and then, uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, so we pulled the spark plug out. The spark plug doesn't really look that bad. Uh, it's not wet. It's not rusty. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this puppy back in, and. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, and then uh, next thing to do is check the air filter, see what that looks like. Okay, so took the air filter out, taking a look at that. Uh, not really that bad. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of a yellow color. This one's a little bit dirty, so when we get a chance, we can take and um, replace this. The filter element that is underneath this appears to be clean. So we'll just go ahead and uh, let it go with that. And I think we're ready to try for a start. So this has a couple of different controls on it. So right here, we want to make sure the engine switches to the on position. Okay. Ready to go there. Okay, the bottom switch here is for the fuel. Uh, this one right here is for the choke. Go ahead and put it in that position there. And then uh, just take and help it along. We're going to give it um, a little shot of starting fluid and uh, see if we can take and get it to kick over the first time. Okay, so we turned it around. Uh, the exhaust is facing out, so we don't want to uh, get in trouble with gases in our workshop. And put a little bit of starting fluid into the carburetor, and let's see what happens. All 
Ah, very good sign. Okay, so almost wants to start. Go ahead and give it a half choke. And we'll give it a little more starting fluid. Just get it started. And let's see if it's going to go this time. So maybe we need to put a little bit of gasoline in the carburetor. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you primed up the carburetor, put a little bit of gasoline in there. See if it goes this time. It's got some compression. <laughs> uh. Okay, so what we determined, uh, we got to run for just a little bit, and then it would cut off, and it would run and cut off. And uh, no matter what we did, if we went ahead and we primed it and we put starting fluid in there, uh, it didn't want to run. So, but we did get it to run just a little bit, and it would cut off. So, what we're going to do in the next couple of days is we're going to take the carburetor off of here and we're going to overhaul that because it sounds like one of the jets is plugged up in there from gunk and we are also going to take the fuel tank even though it was empty we are going to take and wash it out with uh, lacquer thinner acetone or something make sure it's dry refill it with more fuel and we should get this puppy humming so uh, those are the things to try when you have something has been running for a long time. Those are the basic checks that you go through. And those are the easy ones. And then when it starts getting a little bit difficult, like it doesn't want to behave, then you have to go in, you have to start taking things apart. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the, uh, the carburetor and the fuel tank. And uh, we might do a short on the thing running, but uh, yeah, we'll get it going. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Hope I've given you a little bit of valuable information. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you next time. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. You will be the first ones to know when we do something new. Talk to you next time.